CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 6 The Triangle and Its Properties Page 113 6.1 Introduction A triangle you have seen is a simple closed curve made of three line segments. It has three vertices, three sides and three angles. Here is triangle ABC, figure 6.1. It has sides, line segments AB, BC, CA, angles, angle BAC, angle ABC, angle BCA, Vertices A, B, C. The side opposite to the vertex A is BC. Can you name the angle opposite to the side AB? You know how to classify triangles based on the 1. Sides 2. Angles 1. Based on sides, scalen, isosceles, and equilateral triangles. 2. Based on angles, acute angled, obtuse angled, and right angled triangles. Make paper cut models of the above triangular shapes. Compare your models with those of your friends and discuss about them. Try these. 1. Write the six elements, that is, the three sides and the three angles of triangle ABC. 2. Write the 1. Side opposite to the vertex Q of triangle PQR. 2. Angle opposite to the side LM of triangle LMN. 3. Vertex opposite to the side RT of angle RST. 3. Look at figure 6.2 and classify each of the triangles according to its A. Sides B. Angles Page 114 We have figure 6.2 given here with six different figures of triangles. 1. Triangle ABC is given with AB equal to 5 cm, BC equal to 8 cm and AC equal to 8 cm. 2. Triangle PQR is given with PR equal to 8 cm, QR equal to 6 cm and PQ equal to 10 cm. 3. Triangle LMN is given with LN equal to 7 cm and MN equal to 7 cm. 4. Triangle RST is given with RS equal to 5.2 cm, RT equal to 5.2 cm and ST equal to 5.2 cm. 5. Triangle ABC is given with AB equal to 3 cm, BC equal to 3 cm and AC equal to 7 cm. 6. Triangle PQR is given with PQ equal to 6 cm, QR equal to 6 cm. Now, let us try to explore something more about triangles. 6.2 Medians of a triangle Given a line segment, you know how to find its perpendicular bisector by paper folding. Cut out a triangle ABC from a piece of paper. Figure 6.3 In this figure, two triangles are given, namely ABC. On BC, there is a point D which divides BC into two equal parts. Consider any one of its sides, say, line segment BC. By paper folding, locate the perpendicular bisector of line segment BC. The folded crease meets line segment BC at D, its midpoint. Join AD. 
the line segment AD joining the midpoint of line segment BC to its opposite vertex A is called a median of the triangle. Consider the sides line segment AB and line segment CA and find two more medians of the triangle. A median connects a vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of the opposite side. Think, discuss and write. 1. How many medians can a triangle have? 2. Does a median lie wholly in the interior of the triangle? If you think that this is not true, draw a figure to show such a case. Page 115 6.3 Altitudes of a triangle Make a triangular shaped cardboard ABC. Place it upright on a table. How tall is the triangle? The height is the distance from vertex A in the figure 6.4 to the base line segment BC. Figure 6.4 A triangle ABC is placed on a table. From A to line segment BC, you can think of many line segments. See the next figure 6.5. A triangle ABC is given in which dotted lines are drawn from point A to BC. AL is the altitude of triangle ABC. Which among them will represent its height? The height is given by the line segment that starts from A, comes straight down to line segment BC and is perpendicular to line segment BC. This line segment AL is an altitude of the triangle. An altitude has one end point at a vertex of the triangle and the other on the line containing the opposite side. Through each vertex an altitude can be drawn. Think, discuss and write. 1. How many altitudes can a triangle have? 2. Draw rough sketches of altitudes from A to line segment BC for the following triangles. Figure 6.6 .6. Triangle 1 is acute angled, triangle 2 is right angled and triangle 3 is obtuse angled triangle. 3. Will an altitude always lie in the interior of a triangle? If you think that this need not be true, draw a rough sketch to show such a case. 4. Can you think of a triangle in which two altitudes of the triangle are two of its sides? 5. Can the altitude and median be same for a triangle? Hint. For question number 4 and 5, investigate by drawing the altitudes for every type of triangle. Do this. Take several cutouts of 1. An equilateral triangle 2. An isosceles triangle and 3. A scalene triangle. Find their altitudes and medians. Do you find anything special about them? Discuss it with your friends. Page 116 Exercise 6.1 1. In triangle PQR, D is the midpoint of line segment QR. Line segment PM is dash. PD is dash. Is QM equal to MR? A triangle PQR is given. D is the midpoint of QR. PM is perpendicular. 2. Draw rough sketches for the following. A. In triangle ABC, BE is a median. 
B. In triangle PQR, PQ and PR are altitudes of the triangle. C. In triangle XYZ, YL is an altitude in the exterior of the triangle. 3. Verify by drawing a diagram if the median and altitude of an isosceles triangle can be same. 6.4. Exterior angle of a triangle and its property. Do this. 1. Draw a triangle ABC and produce one of its sides, say BC, as shown in figure 6.7. Triangle ABC is given in which side BC is extended to point D. Angle ACD is the exterior angle. Observe the angle ACD formed at the point C. This angle lies in the exterior of triangle ABC. We call it an exterior angle of the triangle ABC formed at vertex C. Clearly, Angle BCA is an adjacent angle to angle ACD. The remaining two angles of the triangle, namely angle A and angle B are called the two interior opposite angles or the two remote interior angles of angle ACD. Now cut out or make trace copies of angle A and angle B and place them adjacent to each other as shown in figure 6.8. Triangle ABC is given in which side BC is extended to point D. The exterior angle angle ACD is divided into two parts such that measure of one part is equal to angle A and measure of other part is equal to angle B. Do these two pieces together entirely cover angle ACD? Can you say that M angle ACD is equal to M angle A plus M angle B. 2. As done earlier, draw a triangle ABC and form an exterior angle ACD. Now, take a protractor and measure angle ACD, angle A and angle B. Find the sum angle A plus angle B and compare it with the measure of angle ACD. Do you observe that angle ACD is equal or nearly equal if there is an error in measurement to angle A plus angle B? Page 117 you may repeat the two activities as mentioned by drawing some more triangles along with their exterior angles. Every time you will find that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its two interior opposite angles. A logical step-by-step -step argument can further confirm this fact. An exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Given, consider triangle ABC. Angle ACD is an exterior angle. To show, M angle ACD is equal to M angle A plus M angle B. Through C, Draw line segment CE parallel to line segment BA. Figure 6.9 Triangle ABC is given. Exterior angle angle ACD is divided as angle X and angle Y. Justification Steps Reasons A. Angle 1 is equal to angle X. Line segment BA is parallel to line segment CE and line segment AC is a transversal. Therefore, alternate angles should be equal. B. 
angle 2 is equal to angle Y. Line segment BA is parallel to line segment CE and line segment BD is a transversal. Therefore, corresponding angles should be equal. C. Angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle X plus angle Y. D. Now, angle X plus angle Y is equal to M angle ACD from figure 6.9. Hence, angle 1 plus angle 2 is equal to angle ACD. The above relation between an exterior angle and its two interior opposite angles is referred to as the exterior angle property of a triangle. Think, discuss and write. 1. Exterior angles can be formed for a triangle in many ways. Three of them are shown here. Figure 6.10 There are three more ways of getting exterior angles. Try to produce those rough sketches. 2. Are the exterior angles formed at each vertex of a triangle equal? 3. What can you say about the sum of an exterior angle of a triangle and its adjacent interior angle? Page 118 Example 1 Find angle X in figure 6.11 Figure 6.11 A triangle is given in which one of the interior angles is 50 degrees and the other is X. Exterior angle is 110 degrees. Solution Sum of interior opposite angles is equal to exterior angle or 50 degrees plus X is equal to 110 degrees or X is equal to 60 degrees. Think, discuss and write. 1. What can you say about each of the interior opposite angles when the exterior angle is 1. A right angle 2. An obtuse angle 3. An acute angle 2. Can the exterior angle of a triangle be a straight angle? Try these. 1. An exterior angle of a triangle is of measure 70 degrees and one of its interior opposite angles is of measure 25 degrees. Find the measure of the other interior opposite angle. 2. The two interior opposite angles of an exterior angle of a triangle are 60 degrees and 80 degrees. Find the measure of the exterior angle. 3. Is something wrong in this diagram? Figure 6.12 Comment Figure 6.12 A triangle is given in which both the interior angles measure 50 degrees and the exterior angle is also 50 degrees. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 7 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Samya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India